Hi, I'm Jim Wright, and welcome. This Intervention Pathways video is a quick how-to for using a fun strategy called Reading Racetracks to build a student's sight word vocabulary. The Reading Racetrack is an intervention that puts a sight word list into a game-like racetrack format. The student reads the words aloud from that racetrack for one minute and records their reading performance, and then they repeat their reading of the words in the racetrack several times as they attempt to reach that preset fluency goal that we'll talk about in a moment. To create a set of racetracks for an intervention, you must first choose a master word list, such as the Dolch or the Fry word list. Really, you can pick any word list you like. You then select 28 words from that word list, that's what you need for one session, and organize those into four shorter lists of seven words each. By the way, for this demonstration, I'll be using words from the Dolch Grade 1 word list. Along with the word list, you'll also need five copies of the Reading Racetrack form, and you'll need one copy of the Reading Racetrack score sheet. Now, don't worry, I'll give you instructions at the end of this video about how you can download these forms, for free, of course. You'll also need a stopwatch. Next, you'll fill out the racetrack forms. We'll start by creating racetracks using these four short lists of seven words each that we just created. Uh, we call these target racetracks because they contain our four target word lists. You fill out one copy of the reading racetrack for each list, writing a word from your seven word list into each numbered blank on the form and repeating those uh, words in random order until all 28 blanks of the racetrack are filled in. When a target racetrack form is completely filled out, each word from that seven word uh, list should appear four times on the racetrack. You can see, for example, uh, that the word no from our list appears four times in random order uh, on our example of a target racetrack. When you're done creating your four target racetracks, you'll still need to make one more, which we'll call the review uh, ra reading racetrack. To make this final racetrack, you combine all 28 words from your four uh, short word lists and you enter these in random order onto that racetrack form. Now our preparation is done. It's time for the student to complete the racetrack. Uh, racetracks, I should say. During the intervention session, the student is first directed to complete the four target racetracks, and then they move on to complete that final review racetrack. So, here are directions for completing any racetrack, whether target or review. There's just five simple steps. Step one, give directions. So you give the student a copy of the racetrack and you tell them that they'll have one minute to read as many words from that sheet aloud as possible. If they complete that whole circuit of 28 words before their minute is up, you direct them to keep reading until told to stop. Step two, complete the racetrack. You say, and you mark, get set, go, and you start your stopwatch. While the student reads words aloud, you write down any errors. If the student hesitates for longer than three seconds on a word, you say the correct word and you record this as an error. When that minute is up, you tell the student to stop reading. Step three, we record the student's score. So together with the student, you count up both the total number of words read correctly and errors, and you record them on the reading racetrack score sheet. You also have the option to copy any error word onto the score sheet if you choose in the space marked practice words, just to help you keep track of them. Step four, practice those error words. For each error word from the reading that the student just did, you point to the word and you say it aloud. Next, you have the student say the word in unison with you. But then the student says the word aloud independently and ends by repeating the word correctly three times in succession. And finally, step five, repeat the racetrack until reaching the goal. You have the student continue timed readings of that same reading racetrack until that student manages either to read at least 90 words correctly in one minute or has attempted the racetrack a total of five times. Then they're ready to move on to that next racetrack. Okay, we've reached the end of this tutorial. If you would like to read more about how to use reading racetracks, just visit this web address to download a handout. Uh, just look for the link with the title of this Intervention Pathways video. I'm Jim Wright. Thanks for watching.